In this video, we are going to discuss about how to customize your website. So, one can easily make changes in the appearance of their website. The changes can be made with respect to the menu, product view and more. So, let's see how we can do this through our website. So, go to your website module. From there, you can go to your website. So, the new website will be encompassed with the default menu with all the installed application. And in order to create a new menu, you can go to pages. Under pages, you have an option called as edit menu. So, here you can see a certain menus such as home, blog, courses and all. And if you want to create a new one, you can go to page edit menu and here you can add the menu items for example if i'm adding a menu called event and then save this and save so now you can see a new menu comes that is event that is a created one now you can also manage your pages very easily from manage pages so when you come here you can manage your pages easily from here so if you want to pin it you can make this as pin it from here and make it as the main menu so when you enable this it would be available in the menu stage and here you have an option to manage this page uh, page properties and all so likewise you can manage the pages from here now you can also customize the appearance of a website under customize you have an option to customize the themes so here you can see the certain themes now now if you want to create a new product and want to make it available in your website you can take this create a, a new product suppose i'm creating a product called as laptop then click on continue here you can see this this product is being created uh, and now if you want to add any kind of images you can click on this you can drag it and drop it over here if you want to provide any image uh, so right now i'm not making any i'm not providing any image you can save it and now I can see that it is in unpublished state. So when you make this published, this product should be available in your shop. So let's make it as published. Now when you go to your shop, you also have an option to customize your product catalog. For that, you can go to customize. Under customize, you have an uh, option under product items that is add to cart, comparison, list and product description. So let's look at one by one. So when you enable this add to cart, you can see that you would be able to add this product that is chair floor protection in cart. So when you enable this option, there you can see a small image to add it to cart appears. So in that way you can add this to cart uh, and then you can see that comparison list. So right now in this we have only uh, added to cart that is shopping cart symbol visible. Now if you add this that is comparison list you can see that here you will get another option to compare your product. Similarly, uh, if you want to provide any kind of description for your product, you can enable this. So when you enable that, you can see that a small description came. That is office chair can harm your floor protected. So if you want to provide any description, you can do that. And if you want to change that, you have an option to change it after clicking the edit. You have an option to change this. 
so meanwhile i'm not saving that i'm discarding it now let's see another options under that so under customize now you can see that uh, you have an option that called grid or list button so when you enable this you would have get an option to view a product either in grid form as well as in list form so in grid form you can see like this and when you click on the list form you would be able to see your products in list form then under this customize you can see you can keep this list view by default itself so when you enable this you can do that now the next thing you can see is that the product attributes filter so here you can see different attributes that you have provided for your product so by using this attributes also you can make the fil you can filter out your products using these attributes then under this you can see another option that is show sort by so when you enable that uh, you can see that a new option comes here that is sort by so here you can see to sort it by catalog price that is high to low so it would be sorted out on the basis of that then if you want to sort it out the catalog price from low to high you can do this and now if you want to sort it out on the basis of its alphabetic order you can do it from here that is sort it out a to z so it will be sorted out on the basis of that similarly you can use this so this is the option that is coming under the customize when you enable the option called as show sort by now the next option that comes is e-commerce categories so when you enable this you can see all the product under the e-commerce here you can see all the products that comes under our e-commerce so on the basis of that also here you can see all the products so these are the some of the products which are not yet been published so basically these are some of the ways in which you would be able to customize your website if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com